What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're checking out an artist that's new to the channel, uh, and that artist is uh, named Minoy. Uh, and it's a song called I Can't Wait. Uh, this song is featuring Loco, which is not new to the, uh, who is not new to the channel. I really enjoy Loco. Uh, and the reason why we're checking out Minoy is because um, somebody in Discord, I believe, uh, made me aware of her show. Uh, it's a cooking show. She interviews idols. Uh, I watched her uh, episode with Hawasa and Loco. I watched her episode with um, with uh, Lehigh, and I watched her episode, her debut episode, I believe, uh, for the show with Loco as well. So it's going to be interesting because Loco and her like had uh, they kind of butt heads, but it's in a playful way, right? So I'm interested to see what their relationship is like in a song. Uh, but her, she is very intriguing. She's very adorable and cute, but she's also very, I don't want to say she's dangerous, but it's, uh, it's, uh, she's not afraid to say what she thinks. Right. Uh, and it's really cool to see how she kind of brings idols out of their shell, right? Like she kind of like breaks that wall down and gets them to loosen up and talk freely and stuff. Kind of like a Jesse does, uh, which is really, really cool. But I don't know what to make of her, right? She has this, this personality that's very, very awesome uh, and refreshing, but I don't know what, how that's going to translate to her, her music, right? So once I found out she made music, I immediately wanted to hear it. So as a dichotomy like i would think that since she has that personality where she's not uh, afraid to say what she thinks is it going to be like total opposite in her music is she going to be all cutesy and stuff which is totally fine or is it going to be something different is she a rapper like what i don't know uh, it's very hard to gauge with her but i'm very excited to to check this out so let's finally hear this uh this song is called i can't wait i don't know why there's two a's in the title but let's we'll go with it so this is minoy with i can't wait featuring loco let's go uh and there are no subs <laughs> She's one of those. Got it. <sighs> the vibrato? <laughs> Hello, excuse me. Okay, so yeah, she's one of those. She's like Lehigh, just a soulful, just singer that just sings from their soul. Very, very. Her tone is so, so nice. It's light, but uh, it's not too bright. But there's, there's a subtleness in her delivery and in her attack of the, all, that all that vibrato and all that vibey stuff in there it's just so subtle and it's so so nice because it is subtle it's like you know she's not d digging too deep into that character right uh of her voice it's just right there placed nice and soft and gentle really really nice we're gonna hear this part again <laughs> love that and I'm already gonna say it I love her alright Loco I already know what Loco's gonna do all over this track and I really do love Loco too yep He's so nice, man. I don't know how I feel about that shirt, though, Loco, but the flow is good. Nice. <laughs> Can you? Um, I, I don't know. I 
I could listen to her sing anything. And if you haven't guessed it by now, this is Playlist. Uh-oh. It's the subtlety that gets me. Yeah, this song's a vibe. And so is she. And Loco just sounds good under anyone, singing with anyone. I've only seen him sing with Hwasa, but he just got that type of voice. It's like she's whispering in your ear, dude. It's that type of voice. It's so, so nice. Okay, what's in the box? Oh, they don't say. And there's only one A in can't here. Interesting. Okay, why am I? What did that play? Okay, that is, this is on my playlist to to check out, but I don't know why it played next. Okay, either way, this was very very nice. I didn't expect it. Well, I mean, I kind of guess I did because um, when I asked Discord about her label, because uh, I thought she was under um, Loco's label. Um, they had mentioned how she's kind of right outside of K-pop and into to uh, K-hip-hop. It's kind of like Lehigh, right? They just kind of, they float around on this 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 alternative uh, indie era or area of K-pop and K-hip-hop music that, to me, that's where a lot of the great character, uh, the great voices live. So I kind of, you know, I, like I said, I thought it would be cool if she's like this totally cute uh, uh, concept type of singer compared to her uh, uh, her show persona. But it totally makes sense that she's vibey like this. Like, she's nice. She, she really does hit me like Lehigh, like Hawassa. But the, the cool thing about her is it's the subtlety. They're not playing too hard into it. They could have processed her in a way to make those, that little vibrato and all those things stand out more, but they didn't. They kept her voice just like she's there, just whispering in your, in your ear. And that's what I felt like. Like, I just want her singing anything right into this ear. It's really, really nice. And we are definitely checking out more from her. So really enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.